What's up, guys? Jaxel here again. Um, here with a preview of the upcoming version 1.05 for Scoreboard Assistant. Um, astute viewers may notice that we skipped 1.04. That's because 1.05 is actually a significant update, and I figured the program was worth skipping an entire number for it. All right. So I actually got a list of things that I'm going to be going over in this video. Uh, we'll start with the first one and that would be that the program now remembers your window location and height so let's say I'm gonna put the window down here and make it a bit bigger and then reopen the program and the program will reopen and resize to what it was last time it was open it's just a minor convenience but uh, you know it was something that was bugging me alright next one config text location changed now in the first version and the previous versions if you double clicked text 1, text 2, text 3, anywhere there was a label it would pop up with the ability to change the configuration for that well the default uh, value for that text I've actually changed that and I've changed that for because of reason number 3 which I'll get to in a moment um, I've changed it to right clicking the save button to a text config menu and then you select which text you want to edit now like I said the reason for this is number three on the list and that is image output support alright so let's do that we're gonna go text config and we're gonna click on text one now by default I have general gaming at the Jaxle Dome and then I have format set to text Now setting format to text is pretty simple I click save and the output is in a text file. Now what I can also do is I can change the format to image. Now people wanted this because some people are still using XSplit. Uh, XSplit does have some significant advantages over OBS while OBS has significant advantages over XSplit. They all have their positives and negatives and for some reason XSplit is still the best for some people I mean XSplit is still the best way to go for them so I added that c because XSplit's text renderer is not that good but they're good at displaying images so you can do that change that to image and then we click save and text one is output as an image instead of instead of text and of course you know I could change that to fonts the size of the image, the height of the image, I can angle the text, change the font colors, I can even add a glow. But let's uh, leave that all default for now. In fact, I'm going to change it back to text. Alright, now that's simple enough. And the reason why I had to change the location of the text configs to here is because if you look at scoreboard 2 and scoreboard 4 there's no label for the scores so you know I would have to do it here and you know it, it's easier just everything in a single spot there's no reason to create additional confusion alright so we've taken care of that now let's whoops let's talk at the next one on the list and that is new image select tab this was a request from uh, Chibo of uh, Clash Tournaments he wanted the ability to have a tab called image select which we have right here image select I'm going to call it uh, SSB for Super Smash Bros uh, now I already have a database for this Super Smash Bros and the database is quite literally just a whole bunch of PNG images now this uh, feature only supports PNG images not bitmaps JPEGs or GIFs uh, but if you're using this feature you probably have some sort of photo editor and you can easily convert your images to PNG you want to use PNG anyways it's the best format available right now in a, a low scale format alright we're gonna click that tab and creating this tab it automatically parsed through the uh, database and found images included in this folder and added them to a list and we have four of them one two three and four and this allows me to set up OBS over here and I have uh, character 1, 2, 3, and 4. Right now they're all blank and character 1 is Mario character 2 is... who's character 2? Kirby 
Character 3 is Bowser. And character 4 is King Day Today. And I click Save. And all these images, 1, 2, 3, and 4, just got updated. I mean, this is a simple image with check for file changes. It, it's just an image copy. It's going to take the image you select and copy it to the output. File 1, file 2, file 3, and file 4. It will also take the text and put it into this text file. So image 1 is Mario. So if you want, you can have text and the image. And of course, you can do swapping and have fun with that. Click Save. And everything gets swapped around to different locations. Simple enough. All right. So that's the major new feature added. And in the uh, first uh, video I explained for uh, this program, I mentioned that the reason I s switched to text files is it allows us to do things like action script and using other stuff. Uh, I don't use action script. I don't really know much about uh, Flash. But I do know uh, JavaScript, HTML, and CSS. So I'm going to show an example of using this new uh, image select feature with uh, some JavaScript. Now, um, it doesn't ha have to just be the image select feature. You can do this with the text files as well. You just need to set up uh, your script to pull the file like every uh, 500 milliseconds. That's half a second. And check for file updates. And then animate the text on your screen. And this is, I'm basically doing this to show an animation test in OBS. Click and add new tab. And I already have a database for SF4. It's got some uh, characters here. What I'm going to do with that is I'm going to make an HTML file, which I have right here. Let's minimize that for now. And I already made this HTML file. Let's pretend that the script area doesn't exist right now. And what you see is I have a body, some divisions, division. This page gives me this. What I'm doing is I'm taking a main division which I set to a height of 1280 by 720, which you can see right there. Then they have the file 1, file 2, and a generic versus image. Now, file 1, file 2 is stuff that's outputted from Scoreboard Assistant. You know, file 1, file 2, this would be file 3, and that would be file 4, but I'm not using them. And I have file 2 set over here. I've got file one set over there, and I have that generic versus image set right here in the middle of the screen. And I've done this with some absolute divisions and things like that. All right. Now, in addition to this, I included some J jQuery, which is a JavaScript um, package. And what I did is I set it so that the page is going to load, and once it's load, it's going to set timeout, which is wait for one full second. Then it's going to slide in image one from the left, slide in image two from the right, and then it's going to wait a little bit of time and then fade in and animate the versus button. So if we refresh this, we will see that happen. Nice. Now it's just a basic uh, uh, HTML web page. All right. So we're going to go back to OBS. And I've already set this up on a screen called Street Fighter 4, right here. Boom, nice. And of course, we ch let's change that to Chun Li versus. Oh, you know, very important. I made sure that file 2 is transformed to be flipped horizontally. Aha, nice trick so you don't have to have multiple images. All right, so then we're going to do Chun Li versus. Abel. Gonna click save. And the next time we load this, we've got Chun Li and Abel and the versus in the middle. Nice quick script. Now you'll notice that it's not very smooth. Uh, jQuery is not actually a very smooth animation uh, package. There are smoother uh, at J JavaScript animation packages out there. I don't really know anything about them though because I'm really. I've, I've never done this stuff before, but this is something I put together in about 10 minutes. Um, now, this requirement for this is um, CLR browser, which you can find on obsproject.com. It only works with OBS, and I'm just loading up 
the uh, HTML file as 1280 by 720, and you know it just it just goes. And so you know you can add additional stuff, text and whatnot. You got player names underneath, and uh, I just wanted to put this preview out. And uh, I know you guys will really like this new version. Uh, anyway, peace out.